Oh, so like, have you guys noticed this? Like, OnlyFans is trying to do original programming now. No. That's a pr pretty hard pivot. <laughs> Just to pretend like that's not their legacy. It's like they're going after HBO. They're like, OnlyFans has been the home of college girls masturbating on their bed. <laughs> But now we're branching out. This fall, we have a drama about a detective whose son was brutally murdered. <laughs> Only on OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> That's their logo sound. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't forget about our power users. Our legacy subscribers. If you like gripping drama and jizzing, try OnlyFans Plus. I mean, good luck to them. <laughs> Is, I mean, do they think they're gonna get to a point where the family's on the couch? Like, what do we do, Disney Plus? Uh, do we do Netflix? Let's do OnlyFans! I heard this is good, Kate Blanchett is in it. Oh, fuck, oh! it's on the other screen, hold on, yeah. It was in the adults tab, hold on. Oh, now it's a gripping drama. So I, I did The Tonight Show. Um, Hell yeah. Or, yeah, Hell thanks, yeah. thank you, thank you guys. Thank you, thank you. It was, um, it was fun to do, but it's weird how like, back in the day when you did The Tonight Show, people are honking their horns and being like, hey, you're the guy from The Tonight Show. Like it changed your life. <laughs> or is it's like going to the ma Magic Castle for me or something. <laughs> oh, it was cool to put a suit on and like pretend to be a comic. <laughs> up here with you fucking guys. No, I'm just kidding, I love you guys. No, it was, it was fun to do, but I'm just saying it doesn't move the needle like it used yeah. to back in the day. Like now it's all about algorithms on the internet. Like you have to serve the algorithm. And it sucks because like the algorithm likes a lot of bullshit. Yeah. Like I like, I like dancing, I like break dancing. I'll watch a clip where a guy is doing 82 head spins and it's amazing. It, it has 50,000 views. But then there'll be like a white chick with big tits. Just, <laughs> And it has a billion views. <laughs> That's criminal, like, it's so sad. Even stand-up, like, I love jokes, I love jokes, but jokes don't do well on the internet. It's all crowd work, like, crowd work gets pumped out. And I'm just thinking, like, the stand-ups I loved growing up, like, they had iconic stand-up bits, like Chris Rock, Seinfeld, Carlin. Like, what are the future comics gonna be? Like, oh, what's your favorite bit? Oh, I love when that lady got up. <laughs> And, and then Connor said, what are you, taking a shit? <laughs> it really formed who I am as a comic today. When he said, what are you, taking a shit, lady? A stinky, stinky shit, and there were a bunch of cuts. It was awesome. I was watching some people dance at a club, you know, and like, one guy, he was like, doing, he was doing this. He was like, he was like driving the car, you know? But I'm a safe driver, so when I was doing this. I had 10 and two, I had my blinkers on. Some girl was like, well, you're like a really safe driver. I was like, yeah. I'm not like that reckless guy. And then he got in a wreck and he, he died. He got T-boned on the dance floor. <laughs> no, like I just ran away. Like he didn't, have, he didn't have fake car insurance. It was a whole fiasco on the, on the dance floor. So I was hopping in the shower today, and like, I noticed my underwear was on backwards. <laughs> Not in the shower, no, 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 no. <laughs> Detective over here. <laughs> I found a hole in your... <laughs> in the shower, case closed. <laughs> your Honor, why was his underwear in the shower? I rest my case. What if that's how I did take showers? I could go in there fully clothed. <laughs> like no one taught me, I had to learn on my own. Oh, this is not how you do it? I have roommates. <laughs> you guys don't shower like this? You don't get in with your shoes on and then just, you do it before? Huh. So, okay, like I'm, I'm dating and stuff. I'm doing the apps and all that. And I'm older now on the apps and I've just, like in my 20s, you think every interaction that you do can like be a win. But when you get older, sometimes you're in a conversation and it's a stalemate. You know like there's no way you're gonna win this conversation. I've gotten good at that. I want to give you an example of like a conversation that happened on Hinge and when I knew there was just like no winning, okay? So we, we matched, or, or, or no, we didn't match. Here's what happened, okay, so I DM'd her. I did some sleuthing, you know? So I go, hey, saw you on Hinge, thought you were cute. And then she goes, 
So why didn't you say something on Hinge? Oh, <laughs> All right, coming in hot, like combative from the jump. And then I go, you weren't in the regular section, so I couldn't. Oh, <laughs> and then she goes, what does that mean? <laughs> and then I go, the standout section where you can't contact the person unless you pay money. But your IG was there. Oh. And then she goes, oh. And then I never replied after that. Like, this is not, this is not gonna turn into anything. Like, she, she was already combative from the start, and I didn't plan on talking about the app Hinge this much. It sounds like I'm a developer for Hinge. The standout section is a new feature we're trying out. But after that exchange, I'm like, this is done. I can't, there's no winning this. Just chalk it up, pack it in, you know? Another time, so, like, we were having banter, and then I go, uh, oh, let's hang out sometime. And then she goes, depends where we're going. Oh. And I just never respond <laughs> after that. Like, an ultimative, uh, ultimatum when I haven't even met you yet. Also, I'm gonna do drinks or, like, dinner. <laughs> right? Like, I, I do simple shit because I want to know I can have a good time with you doing simple shit because, like, that's 80% of life is just dinner and drinks. I don't want to go to the zoo because, it's like, the giraffe is doing all the heavy lifting. <laughs> right? You're going skydiving. You're like, I think I love her. <laughs> no, it's the skydiving. The other day, I was talking, and I meant to say that I'm, like, anti, anti-Semitic, but I was talking... I was, I was talking really fast and, like, I, I, I left one of the antis off. <laughs> it was bad. I was like, well, I'm anti-Semitic. <laughs> and then I was like, no, that's not what I meant. <laughs> no, come, come back. <laughs> I'm not so sorry. <laughs> it's, a, it's a huge miscommunication. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. What are the, uh, I'm losing the word. What is the, when you're swimming, the flappers? <laughs> what are those things called? Well, Swim? Flippers, fins? Yeah, that'd be good if I had those. That's what I was doing. <laughs> Fuck yeah, workshop, baby. That's how we do it. Is that good for comedy where you go, what's the word? <laughs> what's the word where it... I don't do my homework. I just ask you guys. Oh, I had this thought. I thought, like, horses are like women's boats. <laughs> oh yeah. God. Like, guys will get boats, and, like, women will get horses. Like, both are irrational things to get. But at least when guys do the... At least other people can benefit from their irrational decision. Like, you, can, you can't invite people on a horse. <laughs> right? Like, when your buddy buys a boat, you're like, oh, that's dumb, but, like, this is fun. <laughs> but there's not ten people on a horse. Like, this is amazing. You should take it out every weekend. You, should, you guys should come out on the horse. It's like 12 people on the horse. Yeah, it's only one of them.